hello everyone welcome back to our channel so good to have you guys back here again thank you once again guys for your continuous and massive support to this channel god bless you my people really appreciate you for your support and we pray that even as you support this channel god almighty will support you in whatsoever you lay your hands to do in jesus name amen thank you once again guys yes my people as always we're back again with latest and most authentic happenings in the country this one is a surprising one bishop kuka accuses buhari of sacrificing nigerians for northern interests this one is so bold and that is the exact truth that is the actual truth of what is going on in the country buhari is actually sacrificing nigerians for northern interests it's unbelievable you know with the with the terrorist and the insurgents the boko haram in the country that has been ravaging the country for a um, couple of years now buhari has not done anything even if um to the point that if he if he has even done anything to ensure that um okay right now uh, boko haram are no longer adopting people they are no longer kidnapping they are no longer killing we we'll know that and we can see the effect or the impact of um, the effort he's putting in to put an end to all of this insurgency. You know, before now, even PDP has stated that Abu Hari is into blood business. There's something he's benefiting from this um, insurgency. He doesn't want to see that it comes to an end. In 2015, when he was campaigning, he stated clearly, just vote for me. All you need to do, vote for me. And a um, couple of months, I will wipe out Boko Haram. What are we facing today? What are we still dealing with? Every now and then, there is no week that passes by that we don't hear um, cases of kidnapping. And it's all across the country. Nowhere is even safe in the country right now. Right now, this Catholic bishop of Sokoto Diocese, Reverend Matthew Kuka, has stated this clearly and boldly. That President Muhammad Buhari knows what he's doing. He's actually sacrificing Nigerians for northern interests. It's so sad and unfortunate, but that is what is going on and everyone is keeping quiet. This bishop has come out boldly uh, to make this um, um, statement. Anyways, before we go further, please guys, um, if you haven't given us a thumbs up, please do go ahead and give us a thumbs up. Click on the like button. Don't forget to subscribe as well. Hit on the subscribe button. It really does mean a lot to us. Thank you and God bless you. Yes, let's get into the news now and grab all of the details. Catholic Bishop of Sokoto Diocese, Reverend Matthew Kuka, accuses President Mohamed Buhari of sacrificing Nigerians for northern interest. The Catholic Bishop of Sokoto Diocese, Reverend Matthew Kuka, has accused President Mohamed Buhari of deliberately sacrificing the dreams of Nigerians to institutionalize northern hegemony. The cleric said, under Buhari's government, Nigeria appeared to be heading for darkness with the citizens traveling in a rudderless ship without any destination in sight. Kuka said these on Friday, December 25th, 2020, in his Christmas message titled, A Nation in Search of Vindication. He said, this government owes the nation an explanation as to where it is headed as we seem to journey into darkness. The spilling of blood must be related to a more sinister plot that is beyond our comprehension. Are we going to remain who gutted by these evil men? Or are they gradually becoming part of a larger plot to seal the fate of our country? President Buhari deliberately sacrificed the dreams of those who voted for him for what seemed like a program to stratify and institutionalize northern hegemony by reducing others in public life to second-class status. He has pursued this self-defeating and alienating policy at the expense of greater national cohesion. Every honest Nigerian knows that there is no way any non-Northern Muslim president could have done a fraction of what President Buhari has done by his nepotism that got away with. There would have been a military coup a long time ago, or we would have been at war. The president may have concluded that Christians will do nothing and will live with these actions. According to Punch, Kuka further said that Buhari's alleged nepotism and commitment to reinforce northern hegemony had dire implications. The cleric added that prominent northerners had started pointing out the consequences of the president's nepotism on national cohesion and trust. 
On the recent adoption of schoolboys in Castina State and similar incidents in recent past, Kuka said the incident have exposed the danger children are exposed to in the northern part of the country. He said the Amajiri is the poster child of the horrible and inhumane conditions of the northern child. It is a best kept secret that the region refuses to confront, but it has now exposed it on the belly. Now, what is the next step for the children of the north? We thank God that the children have been returned safely. This is the easy part. The challenge now is how to deal with the scars inflicted by a, by a derelict nation which is still unable or unwilling to protect its citizens. Yes, we commend the federal and state government for the rescue operation. The larger issue now are whether the federal government understands the evil web of intrigues into which Boko Haram has tied it. Will the federal government continue to reward and fund Boko Haram by playing its game? How long can this circle of deceit last for, given that every kidnap merely strengthens their arsenal? Bishop Kuka is usually critical of President Buhari and his administration. In January 2020, the cleric accused the federal government of giving tacit approval to insurgents, saying the use of explosive is the only difference between the government and Boko Haram insurgents. In February, he slammed the president for allegedly running a nepotistic government, adding that Nigeria is not worth dying for. This is one bold bishop that has always um, said it out, always told it to Buhari's face. Right now, he's directly accusing President Buhari for sacrificing Nigerians for northern interest. And that is the plain truth. That is the gospel truth of what is going on. Buhari cannot be bothered by anything that happens to Nigerian citizens. We see, we could recall what happened um, at the Lekki Toll Gate. Buhari was not touched, no sympathy, no empathy, nothing. This man is a military man. Um, we, To me, I feel that um, we are under military regime. He's just fronting that he's a civilian president, but he doesn't have any anthem, any anthem of sympathy for its citizen. Cook has just stated you know, there, that there is something actually going on between Buhari and this Boko Haram. There is something hidden that has not been exposed yet but it wouldn't take long it will come up but all he can see very well is that uh, Buhari is sacrificing Nigerians guys let's hear your take down below in the comment section thank you once again for staying tuned please my beautiful people don't forget to like share and to subscribe so I like, come your way again with more updates bye for now and god bless